Okay, this is 1.1, solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable and variables on both sides and distribution. So the first problem says solve for y. So we need to follow our steps. So the first step is to eliminate fractions, but we don't have any fractions. The second step is to eliminate uh, parentheses, and we do have a parentheses here. I apologize for the noise. My children are all home trying to do homeschooling, and one kid is sick and grumpy. So my apologies if you hear them in the background. So to eliminate this parentheses, we're going to distribute this 6. So we have 6y minus 6. Then the third step is to combine like terms. However, on the left-hand side of the equal sign, I do not have like terms. On the right-hand side of, this, of the equal sign, I do not have like terms. So I cannot perform this step. Step four is to get all of the variables onto one side. Now I do have variables on both sides. I can make a decision whether to move the 9y over to the left by subtracting 9y on both sides, or I can choose to move the 6y to the right by subtracting 6y on both sides. I typically move my variables to the left so that when I'm done, it always says y equals whatever it is. So I'm going to subtract 9y on both sides and that eliminates it on the left side, I mean on the right side. On the left side, I get negative 3y and a positive 12. So this step is done. Step five is to move the constant terms to the other side. So since my variables are on the left, that means my constants should all be on the right hand side, which means this guy's gonna move, so I'm gonna add six to move it. Always do the opposite sign. Whenever you're moving a whole term over, you need to use the opposite sign. Once you get to step six, which is to divide by the coefficient, that's when you use the same sign, okay? So whatever is in front of that variable, you wanna get rid of it so that you're left with y equals all by itself. So I need to get rid of this negative three, so I'm gonna divide both sides by negative three. <laughs> That cancels the negative three coefficient, and I get the y all by itself. And here I have 18 divided by negative three, which is negative six. So now we have a second problem that says solve for x this time, and we're gonna go through the same six steps. So no fractions to eliminate. I do have parentheses. So I need to multiply this out, which means the left-hand side will stay exactly the same. Negative two times x is going to be negative two x, and then negative two times a negative six is actually going to turn this into positive six. Then I'm going to do step three, which is combine like terms, but a variable term and a constant term are not like terms. A variable term and a constant term are not like terms, so I'll skip this step. Step four is to move these variables over to that side, so I'm going to add 2x. Remember to move the whole term, you have to use the opposite sign. Then I'm going to do step five, which is to move the constant term over to the right side. And then the last step is to divide by the coefficient. So this coefficient in front is what I'm going to divide by. And I end up with x equals 1 7th.